Okay. Hey, this is the first video about Rome and Spain. Um, we're going to check out the theater in Merida in Spain. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. In Imperio Romano, est opidum, Augusta Emerita. Okay, enough being silly. Um, but yeah, the Roman town was called Augusta Emerita, and it was founded in the first century BCE. Um, Augustus needed a place to set up his retired soldiers. So this was it. And they built the theater shortly after they started the town in about 15 BCE, give or take a year or two. And as you can see, it's a pretty impressive structure, but for the longest time, it looked like this. As you can see, it was covered up completely. Um, it was excavated in about 1910, so it looked like this until about 1910. Um, by 1933, it was used again for its original purpose, and in 1993, it was declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And this is the exterior back. As you can see, some of it's pretty well preserved, and some of it's come off, probably because that's where the ground level used to be. And here's another view. And what you can see is that there's two layers here. So we have the outside, like, cladding stones, and they're pretty big. I'd say they're bigger than cinder blocks. And on the inside, it has this kind of rubbly-looking thing, but it's called opus caimenticum. Opus caimenticum, sorry. Um, opus caimenticum. Um Roman concrete, and if you look real close, you can see that it was put in one row of cladding stones at a time, because opus caimenticium, or Roman concrete, didn't get poured in like a slurry the way that we do it, where it's a real loose, gravelly, almost liquid. Theirs was pretty dry, and it would be packed in by hand as opposed to poured. Anyway, um, then you head in and you've got the Skyna, uh, the backdrop to the stage. Um, it could be decorated, but usually it was set pretty well the way it was. You had the middle of the stage, and then you had the left and right of the stage. I forget, one goes to town and one goes to port in traditional Roman comedy, I think. Anyway, that's that. And you can see it's made of this the columns are made of this nice blue marble. Corinthian order columns, really typical of a Roman theater. And the acoustics are pretty good. You can hear what people are saying down on the stage. Um, even though you're pretty far up into the stands, it's pretty cool. Anyway, the main seating area was called the Kawea. And... The division between the Kawe and the stage was the Proscynium. As you can see, if you look at it closely, it's raised up, I'd say, about meter, meter and a half, maybe, four or five American feet. Um, and in front of that, uh, at a lower area below all the seats, is the orchestra where people would dance. It wasn't a place to put musicians it was a place to dance. That's why it's called an orchestra. It has to do with the Greek word, which I don't remember at the moment. Anyway, moving on. Getting to your seat. So that little blue arrow is pointing out the entrance. And you saw the entrance in the outside pictures. But the entrance is called a vomitorium, vomitorium. No, it didn't have anything to do with vomiting. It had to do with getting in and out of theaters and amphitheaters. And the vomitorium led directly to the praecinctio, uh, which I've highlighted here in pink because it serves a major division in the theater, uh, dividing off the lower seats from the upper seats. And the upper seats aren't just divided into 
one bank of seating. It's actually two banks of seating. The top is Summa, Summa Kawea, and that would be reserved for children and slaves and women because Roman was a socially stratified and segregated society. And then in the middle, we have the media. And in the bottom, we have the Ima Kawea. Uh, so the Summa had five rows, and the media had five rows, and the Ima had 22 rows. Theater seated about 6,000 or so, if memory serves. And I'd say, well, two-thirds of the seats maybe were reserved for citizens, um, high-ranking people in town, the Ima, Ima Kawea. Anyway, um, you'd get to your seat because you'd have to know where to sit, and the first row would be called the Prima Kawea, then the Secunda Kawea, then the Tertia Kawea, working our way all the way up to the top of the Summa Kawea at Ultima Kawea. So just like just like a modern theater or sporting stadium, you've got rows, and then you also have sections, and the Romans called it cuneus, or wedge, so you'd know where to sit there. Anyway, that's the Roman theater. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to make a couple more about Merida, uh, probably do a short one about the amphitheater. I might combine that with the Circus Maximus there. I might do those as two separate videos. And then I want to talk a little bit about Roman housing and maybe I'll do a, do an overview video of the whole town of Merida. But today it just struck me to do the theater.